Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3, where we are now in the belly of the beast. Nest Part 2. Umbrella's obligatory underground laboratory. Because if you're going to be in a villainous company that makes pharmaceuticals um, for somebody, I guess, uh, but really makes bioweapons then you might as well just have underground laboratories everywhere. Have more underground laboratories than the movie Us. Just just a whole nation worth. Um, and also litter them with explosives so that they can self-destruct at any moment if anything goes wrong, but never use them despite the fact that everything is always going wrong. Um, okay, this is a dead end. Ah, in more ways than one. Are you dead or alive? He was faking it. There we go. Good zombie. That's how you know you're dealing with... You know, oh my, the lockpick is done. I will go get rid of the lockpick. I did not realize um, I had, I might have skipped a couple simple locks because I don't remember opening something that had a simple lock. And uh, so yeah, I probably missed one. So let us store that and let's grab our knife back. Because we really don't have uh, much in terms of pistol ammo. To waste on boxes. Greetings, sir. Would you like a shotgun blast to the face? The answer? was probably no, but I'm... I gave him one anyway. Um, let us equip that. And stab. And shotgun shells. Alright! Isaac Graves' Diary. The pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to a state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City, which I guess is not Nowhere America? Because I'm pretty sure Raccoon City was presented as like... Anyway, well hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. Are the zombies the monsters? Or, uh, oh my god, it's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience. And that I've learned my lesson, and will still be contributing to evil in the name of helping my family. I forget who who is talking about that. Like the idea that like if these scientists who um, who uh, end up getting stuck, are you a zombie? Judging by your strange lack of detail. I'm guessing you are not. Um, like if the scientists just, like it's all these evil plans usually rely on one scientist hostage um, developing some horrible technology for the villains. You're clearly a zombie. Or not.
You know... It's too bad all of these things that are on wheels cannot be moved. Like, if only we had the technology. Essay on Vaccine Synthesis. A 15-page essay written in double-spaced, 12-point Times New Roman font. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants in vaccine synthesis. By Dr. Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most effectively synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. So, the people whose faces have rotted off, would they somehow be saved? Well, that person's way dead. Hmm. Alright. What does this computer do? Override key successfully generated. What have we oh. here? Override key removed. A flash drive. Did they have those in like the late 90s? But I would imagine that opens the door downstairs. Which means I'm essentially passing by the save point. Again. So, I'm going to do what I normally do, which is constantly save my game. Oh, I probably should also drop off these high powder, high grade gunpowders, so I'm not like carrying them on my person at all times. Should I make more magnum ammo? I will consider it. I won't do it now, but I will consider it. All right. Wait, should I have saved my game? After I use the override key? Override complete. I mean, especially if this is the only time I ever need it. Oh! Never mind. Um, I am not carrying it on my person at all. Oh, hello. Yeah. Aha! Take that! Um, and let's go to town, stabbing him. That is very rude of him for trying to get back onto his feet. Alright, I see one of them albino zombies way down there. He thinks I don't see him over there.
Oh, hello. I did not see you over there. Disgusting. Are you dead? Oh my. Hello, sir. And you have moved. Come on, come on. You're almost there. Nope, nope, nope. You, you, you gotta circle around a little bit farther. You gotta get past the geometry, sir. Okay, good. Okay, so needless to say, I'm gonna be making... I'm gonna be making some more magnum rounds. Oh, hold on. Shipping notice. Cargo Nemesis. Shipping route from CDG to JFK to Raccoon City. Um, all transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing, as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of the newest prototype, and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer, Dr. Herman Frankel. Yes, we created a bioweapon that we can't really control. Hmm. Alright, so there's actually a door over that way. And there's a door over this way. But this door doesn't lead to that much. So I'm going to explore this area first. Then create some more uh, magnum rounds. And then save my game. Oh, I probably need... Uh... Where, do th where does Umbrella get these highly specific uh, rotating arms that spin their vials around? By the way... Uh... I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. If you want to know what culture looks like, it's inside that test tube. Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutant mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as paleheads. I believe I was just calling them the albino zombies. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has yet has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate make it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, Shipping and Processing Manager, Gabriel Reed. Also, you know your company is screwed up when your shipping and receiving team is in need of high-powered weaponry. Also, I've just noticed this kind of piano theme going on in the background. And it's, it's very simple, it's very ambient. But I really like it. Okay. Would totally lo-fi, chill, and study too. 
Um, let us head back. Should we should we dump off the culture sample? I probably will need it. So let's just jump off the gunpowder. Son of a... Hmm. Are these guys I already killed, or...? Or are they not already people I already killed? Do they join in the crew of Paleheads? Where's... Where did number two go? Ah, there he is. There's number two. See, the problem is, like, if they're not heading at me straight on, that makes it very difficult to actually hit them. Um, and I don't want to waste ammo for the Magnum. See? There we go. Okay, so now let's go drop off the uh, gunpowder. Let's pick up the high-grade gunpowder, make some more magnum ammo, especially if we're gonna have to deal with some more pale heads. Um, and save our game, because now we've got the antigen. We just need the adjuvant. Um, But yeah, being able to just shoot one shot at the at the uh, pale head zombie and defeat it is much more convenient than trying to kill it with anything else. Um, I don't know if doing that is going to screw me over in the long run. Ooh, shotgun shells. Explosive A. Oh, and a green herb, which I believe I've got explosive B in the uh, in the box. So I could drop off the herb, combine the A with the B, make some flame rounds. And actually, let's... Um, Combine some of this to put it back in the box. Save our game again. Uh, okay, maybe not. There, there. I suppose there's a point where obsessive compulsiveness uh, emphasizes the obsession part. But really, don't you want to save your game? Do you want your game to die a horrible death? Unsaved? Hello, sir. Are you a zombie? I guess not. Scientists dying message. It's happened, our worst case scenario. The T virus is somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities for the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with the, an adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I shall be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. Emphasis, all the surviving citizens. So not the ones that have been turned into zombies. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. So somebody out here actually has some 
semblance of a heart. Especially when you consider, like, there are characters like, uh... I forget the name of the doctor who is developing the Hunter Gammas. But he was all like, they are my babies. Look at them as they swallow people whole. Aren't they beautiful? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. I have no room for gunpowder. Will you store my gunpowder? Do you have a hip pouch? Or maybe I should be storing that, uh, antigen, uh, sample. Oh, nope. That seemingly important-looking box is nothing. Insufficient power. Please activate auxiliary power. This must be what powers it. Greetings and salutations, sir. Would you like to get shot? Oh, my. It's always interesting when that happens. When you're like, oh, my pistol... Th there's no way my pistol will explode this man's head. Is there a point in a man's head where if you shoot it, it blows up? Resident Evil proves there in fact is said point. So I'm going to run back, drop off this stuff, and then run back here. Ah, Red Herb, I cannot pick you up. Alright, so I actually dumped off my green herb, red herb combination so that I can just pick up that red herb and combine it with a regular green herb. Um, let us uh, turn on the auxiliary power. Avoid this giant ominous blood splatter. Is that Chris's blood? No, it's not. Chris is not even in Raccoon City. Where is Chris at the time of this? Oh yeah, um, so Claire comes to Raccoon City to try to find Chris. Uh, but he's way off. He's doing something else. He's going to do something for Code Veronica? But no, that's afterwards. I forget exactly where Chris Redfield is during this point in time. Uh, uh, oof, what, what, are, what are you even supposed to be? Yeah, explosive B. These are tyrants. Jesus, is this where they're made? Here's the thing, though. This is supposed to be the place where they're developing the vaccine, not creating the monster. So... Why would they be making the tyrants here? Are you a zombie? Actually, you look exactly like one of the other people I accused of being a zombie. I wonder how many 3D models they made for just dead scientists lying on the floor as set decoration. Oh, oh. Out of the way. Yeah, you tell them. Actually, all right, now I just need to find something else I'm willing to shoot with my explosive ammo, and that shall free up another slot. But for now, these heavily burned bodies will do justice. Ah, explosive beef. Oh my gosh, where the hell did you come from? 
All right, all right. Come on, walk down this straightaway. Stop headbanging. All right. Oh, I'm in danger. That is good to know. You look like a zombie. I've seen your face before. Ah, oh, they've got Mega Man for it. Ah, damn it. Out of ammo with the sh pistol. Even Eve loves Mega Man. Got Mega Man toy, Mega Man poster. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organiz organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? Wait, so they're actually controlling Nemesis? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth, with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes. But here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. <laughs> so it's called the Nemesis. Truly, Umbrella was defeated not by their own creations, but by hubris. Ooh, explosive. Do I want acid rounds? Or do I want flame rounds? I don't want explosive rounds. I'll make some acid rounds. And the adjuvant should be in here, I believe. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. A vaccine base, okay. For a second I was wondering whether I needed to, uh... take it somewhere. Oh, and vaccine equipment is actually back at that first lab. Which is fine, because... Yeesh. Uh, because I need to go back and save my game. Again. Because that's what I do. Constantly. See, that guy, he's not a zombie because he doesn't have a zombie model. That, that guy never has actually stood up. Though, you could say in theory, like, any, uh... Are these hunter betas going to jump out? Are you going to jump out? Any of you? Are you going to try to spook me?
Okay, not quite dead. Oh, um, but the flame rounds were kind enough to load themselves. <sighs> Out of those bullets. Don't even know why I'm holding that gun. I will definitely need to heal myself when I get back to the save point. Any new zombies? Anybody? That is a blind spot. These these boxes that are just stacked there. All right. So I'm in caution. Let us grab a regu regular herb. And heal myself. Let's also store the pistol and grab the burst model pistol, which actually has 33 bullets. Um, I wasn't really a big fan of the burst model, but it has ammo. Which is something I cannot say about my regular handgun. Do I have any other... Should I just hold on to that just in case I run into any other explosive material? I'll hold on to that just in case. I'll move that there, and also I will grab one more health item because clearly I could probably use it and also I've got tons tons of first aid sprays should I combine the gunpowder and make more more pistol rounds though I won't now and if it turns out I really needed to well I know where my save game was All right, let us drop off this vaccine in the lab. Which I believe is upstairs here. Yes. Thank you, game, for... Uh, marking it on the map, even though I didn't actually inspect the vaccine equipment myself. To begin vaccine synthesis... Place the materials in the chamber. Okay, what am I looking at? Oh, it's one of these puzzles? Oh, I want them all in uh, the 50 degree. So actually, in theory, all I have to do is so low, low, low does not work. Low, low, mid. Oh, there we go. For as giant as, uh, as he is... As giant as he is, like, his ability to sneak up on people is still amazing. Um... 
I'm guessing I'm conveniently thrown next to this air vent. Yeah, just punch it. Yep. Yeah, the vaccine is developed. We don't need to be here any anymore. You know, in Dead Space, you would be playing this. Now it's more like Sonic Adventure. Uh, you hold up and you're you're good to go. If I didn't hold up long enough, would I? Uh, would I have exploded? Because being exploded is not a very good, uh, good change in somebody's life. You don't really get far if you've been exploded. Um, let us pick up some stuff. Some high-grade gunpowder. Some more high-grade gunpowder. I am going to make myself some, um, magnum bullets. Ooh, some explosive rounds, some flame rounds. Um, what should I do? I should actually, um, let's swap out to the explosive rounds. That way I've got a little bit more inventory space. Oh, never mind. I can only carry things in stacks of six. Alright, so let us deposit some stuff. We don't need first aid spray now. And I guess we don't need this explosive A. Alright, and I think this is where we're gonna stop for time being. Come back to Resident Evil 3 later. In the meantime. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.